So this is the front bearing off of the crankshaft. It's a main bearing. You can see it's starting to come apart. So it's definitely time to do this bearing roll. Um, crank still looks good. We're this far anyway, and I was actually visiting him, and he's telling me, he's showing me the tractor. I said, well, you know what? You've gone this far. You're freshening up the top, and you might as well do a bearing roll while you're at it. So I'm glad we did that. Now, um, we're doing it because we're this far into the engine, but you can also see if your bearings are war by doing an oil analysis. And you go to heavy equipment truck shop and they'll give you a little container and you collect some of the oil and bring it back to them and they'll analyze the oil. It'll tell you whether there's brass, nickel, copper in there, antifreeze, dirt. Um, they'll even tell you if your air filter's too dirty. So um, good way to see what condition your engine is in and also a good way to uh, do an analysis on something you're looking to buy maybe. Um, then you'll know what kind of shape the engine's in. If there is a lot of crap in there, you want to avoid it. If it's nice and clean, then um, yeah, go ahead and buy it. You know the engine's in good shape. So here we go. All right, not much left of this tractor. They're just redoing the rad. Um, I was in a buddy's shop and we had a head gasket issue. Uh, the fuel pump was leaking. So we're fixing that all up, but we're gonna do a little bearing roll on it. So. We freshened up the top half, so still enough crosshatch to leave it alone. So what we're gonna do is we pulled one of the main bearing caps off. You see the oil hole. You do is take a little set screw like this and just bend the head. And then you can pop it right in the hole so that the head is nice and flat against the surface. Can you see that? And then shave the top of the head off so it's no thicker than the um, bearing itself and then so we're going to take it to the grinder and just take a little bit off and then turn the engine over and you can roll the bearing out so this is my little set screw I just pop that in the oil hole and then I have a pipe wrench here I'm just going to turn the engine over slowly and carefully see how that set screw it's shorter than the main block, but it catches the bearing. I can roll. And then there comes my other half of the bearing. Stop when you get close. Pull the bearing down and inspect it. And keep going. And make sure you grab that screw. Pull that back out again. Perfect. Now to roll it back in again. And we can see here that you can see the wear on the bearing i'll show it in the light better you can see the little marks there so it's definitely time to do the bearings good time to inspect it uh, i can't feel anything so we're in uh, we're in good shape let's take a clean bearing dump it in clean oil and it's got the little tab on it so you do have to start this yourself Sometimes you can roll it in entirely on your own, but it does get tight. So then you can use the set screw to roll it the other way, and you can you can even have the head sticking out farther. See the bearing poking through there? Perfect. Now you can pop the bearing on the bottom half, and put the cap back on again, and you got... A nice tight bottom end, ready to take another beating in the field. That's also handy when you can't start it to just put it in through the oil hole and then spin it and it'll pull it up nice. This back one just wanted to be a little extra tight. I'm just going to make sure it's centered and don't force anything. But uh, just putting that little set screw in the oil hole gets you that first little turn then you can pull it out and then try and push it by hand or put the set screw behind it again. So here we go. Now deer is smart where the tab on the top bearing is off to the side and the little tab on the bottom bearing is in the middle. So you cannot put the bearings in backwards. There's the tab right in the middle. So you can't mistakenly put this half at the top and that's important because the top half needs to have the hole in it to for the oiler. The bottom one does not have that groove for the uh, oil and does not have the, the hole in it. Some engines do, I know the CATS, uh, the 3406s, I'm pretty sure you can put the bearings on either side. So if you put the solid, if you put the solid bearing on the top, 
with no oil hole, um, you'll starve the crank and in about 15 seconds your engine will seize. So do the exact same where you dump the bearing in the oil after cleaning your main bearing cap. Torque it back up to the manufacturer's specs and you've just done a bearing roll. I'll show you guys how to do rods. Pretty straightforward. When we're doing the rod bearings for this engine, we're stretching the bolts. And what that means is all steel flexes. And when you tighten a nut on threads, it pulls on the threads against the nut and that's when the nut is tight. When you stretch a thread, it moves past the point where it can come back again. So when you stretch rod bolts or head bolts, it's a one-time use. And stretching is usually a torque, in this case uh, 55, plus a certain amount of degrees. In this case, it's an extra 90 degrees and then an extra 10 degrees. So 55 plus a quarter turn plus another 10 degrees. And this is the tool I like to use for that. It goes in between your um, Johnson bar and socket. Uh, you clamp this in a certain spot and that puts your, uh, it keeps your dial from turning. And then you just loosen the set screw, put it to zero. And then when you tighten your nut, it, it tells you how many degrees you're turning. Very simple, I've had really good luck with this. Um, the, the only other way to do it is to put paint on your socket and on the uh, rod cap and on the bolt to show your starting point and your finishing point and then, and then seeing where 90 degrees is and then another 10 but this is a much more accurate way. Okay so I think I'm done with this old girl. All new bearings at the bottom, the oil pump's back on again. I torque the head down for him. Uh, if you guys want to know how to torque a head, let me know. It's pretty straightforward. But uh, I think I saw a fleet line on the way over here. So I'm going to stop in and see if I can buy it. I can blow all the money that I made today and um, put it into an old car. That'll be the demise of DeBoss Garage. But here we go. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love the channel, consider picking up a Tape Boss to make those projects go faster so you got more time to watch YouTube. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.